Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Salty Octopus, and in today's video, we're looking at a game called Trepang 2. This video is part of a series called Player Nay, where I look at demos on Steam to see if they spark an interest in the full release. I'll be quiet now so we can watch this intro cinematic. Alright, so it looks like we're a prisoner and we got rescued by somebody, but before we get into that, let's take a quick look at the Steam page. Trepang 2 is a gory action-packed FPS set in the distant future, where we have supernatural powers to unleash hell on our enemies, dodge bullets, and leave destruction in our wake. A lot of people are calling it a spiritual successor to fear, which has got me interested in this game, so let's check it out. Alright, we don't know who we are yet, but we got broken out of this room by somebody. However, we're still handcuffed. Control vault security is not responding. We're moving to investigate. Full disclosure, I am talking over a pre-recorded video, and what I'm saying is not scripted. This is purely me reacting to the footage. So let me know in the comments if you like this type of content, as this is a bit of an experiment, but if people like it, I'll keep doing it. All units were under attack by unknown elements. Execute Operation Bright Star immediately. So we're out of our cell and we're just wandering through the back rooms here. Gotta shut that door, then open the door. Music changes, something's getting intense. People are coming, I get in the vent. Control, vault security is KIA. Subject 106 has escaped. I really like the lighting, how dark it is, it's very moody. Looks like we have an ability called Shadow Stealth here. Stick to the shadows. Looks like some baddies are coming, so we're gonna crouch back here in the side hall. Let them run past us. I love how they just like walk over barrels and boxes and it just kind of bounces around. So we just walk through some more dark hallways. Again, I really like the lighting. Looks like we're kind of spotted right there. So we crouch down. Oh shit. Somebody's come through the elevators. And I'm right in the middle of everything. Run! Gotta run! And it looks like we have a cloaking ability. We activated that into another vent here. I'm just gonna skip ahead. Security station, do you have eyes on 106? Security station, respond. What, what the fuck? All units be advised, security station is not responding. So we get a weapon here and unlock our handcuffs. There is a decent amount of wandering around in back rooms in this demo, so I did cut almost all of that out just to go right to the action sequences. And while I think the environments are cool, I do think there's way too much of this wandering around in the back rooms. Look at in some of the blood and gore on the floor here. This game is incredibly violent. 
corpses are also kind of hilarious, as you'll soon find out. They almost have, like, no weight to them, and you just kind of kick them around as you walk around. There's also a lot of doorways that you can't open. The game is very linear. You just go from point A to point B. If I had to critique the level design, I personally wish there were more options to approach a situation rather than just a linear, straight point A to point B approach. However, that's just a personal preference, and I think what they've done in this game still works very well. Here's that no weight to the bodies I was talking about. You just kind of kick it out of the way. While it seems kind of like a silly little detail, to me it's actually incredibly immersion breaking. And every time it happened, I couldn't help but chuckle. So I really hope that they fix this in the future. All right, walking through the vents, we're about to come up on our first major combat scene. I'll try not to talk during the combat. Right here, I was looking for another way to approach the fight. Again, this game is very linear, and I wish the level design would allow for different approaches. The gunplay in this game is very satisfying. It hits really hard, it just feels really good. So we're gonna grab ourselves the next weapon here. Again, there's the silly ragdolls. I'm gonna complain about it a lot, but honestly, it was one of the things about this demo that I really disliked the most. It was just so immersion breaking. Like right there, I'm just kicking that body around. And here's another funny example where I kick the barrel and it just goes flying. And it seems like it's unintentional, you know, there's no sound effect or anything like that. The shotgun, the slide, the slowdown, it just really makes me feel like a badass. You gotta give credit where credit's due. This is a really cool effect, how the gore is spurting out of this dude and it's getting all over this crate. It's spreading out. Kinda nasty, maybe a little bit over the top. And I'm sure other games have done similar things, but I can't really remember something like that off the top of my head, so I just thought that this was cool and I wanted to showcase it for a quick second.
Alright, so the rest of the demo is very similar to everything you've seen so far. We run around in dark back rooms, and then that leads us to combat where we slow down time and we lay waste to all these guys. So for the sake of the length of this video, I'm going to skip ahead a decent amount here and skip right to the finale of the demo, which is honestly the coolest part in the whole game anyways. Oh yeah, I forgot about this part. So you come across the dude that saved you who obviously took himself out for some reason. And my only complaint here is that you couldn't take the samurai sword for yourself because how cool would that be to use the samurai sword with the slowdown effect? Missed opportunity in my opinion. Oh yeah, one more cool thing is you come across these workbenches where you can customize out your weapon depending on how you want them to play. You can add silencers, etc. I personally usually always like this kind of stuff in games and I think it fits this game really well, so that's a great addition. Alright, now we're finally here towards the end of the demo and I'm not going to talk at all during this combat. However, I am going to summarize my thoughts at the end of this, so please stick around if you want to hear my final thoughts.
approaching the helipad. Make sure he extracts safely. So we get rescued, and this is the end of the main section of the demo. However, there is some more stuff coming up that I also want to showcase. But before I do that, let's talk about the main section of the demo. Overall, I thought this was a good demo. The story is not that unique at all, but I don't think it really needs to be. We are this super soldier who gets rescued. We don't really know our origin story, but we do know that we have powers and we have to get out of here, and then we get rescued at the end. I'm sure our story will flesh out in the main game, but that's not important for this demo. What is important is the really great gunplay, which this game has. While the weapons aren't anything unique, they work really well for this game. You feel like you're in the Matrix flying around with these slowdown powers, dodging bullets, and creating crazy havoc on the enemies that you're fighting. The guns hit hard and the gore and the viscera and the sound effects, everything fits really well together to make this game feel really action-packed and intense. I also never really talked about the effects, which were also really cool, like when the bullets are shooting the concrete and it's crumbling off the walls. That was also really cool. And as I mentioned already a few times, the ragdoll effects were a little ridiculous, and they broke the immersion for me. And the levels played a little bit too linear for my taste, and I wish there were more approaches to a certain situation or objective. But neither one of those things ruined the experience of this game or this demo. And because of that, this game definitely gets my endorsement of something to keep your eye on, and you should definitely try this demo out. I will personally be keeping an eye on this one, and we'll see what the Steam reviews say when it finally drops. But I think that this might be a game worth checking out. Now before I call this video quits, I want to show you guys a few more things that this demo had. This area I'm in right now, for example, is most likely going to be in the main game based upon what it looks like. I think this is going to be the hub world where you'll get missions and this whole area will flesh out with NPCs as the story progresses. This area also has like a mission board where you can actually play a different game mode inside the demo and that's something that I'm going to show you guys. I'm not going to talk during this part, instead I'm just going to showcase it and then you guys can watch. But there's some funny stuff to look out for. For example, I put big head mode on. You'll see what I mean. Thanks for watching, guys. Please let me know in the comments below if you're enjoying the Player Nay series. It's different than my other content, but if you think it's worthwhile, I'll keep making it. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Thanks again. I'm Salty Octopus, and I'll see you next time.